Hey everybody, it is September 14, 2012, and I'm in my vocal booth again because uh, too much music is going on in other parts of the studio here, and I want to isolate the sound so I can talk to you guys and talk a little bit about uh, the weekly wrap-up in a few different ways. Now, last week I spoke a little bit about the mix, and uh, I had some of my students actually talk to me this week about uh, my wrap-up. So I want to respond a little bit to their questions. I spoke of the fact that the nasal pharynx, which is the pathway to the mix, has three layers. Now those three layers, uh, we could get into the medical terms of what those three layers are, but that's not going to help you be a better singer. What's more important is that you kind of he hear or feel those layers, and it's very subtle. What I'd like you to do is I'd like you to say, me, say me, knee. Me, knee, we. Very subtly, me, knee, we. Now, I said that last time too, but I think maybe if you just go, me, knee, we, you won't really notice the subtlety of it. So try to lay on each sound a few times, like, me, 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 knee, 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 we, 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 we. I think when you do that, you'll notice that those three sounds place slightly in a different place. Now they're all E vowel sounds. It's an E all the way through, but I'm changing the consonant. Me, 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 knee, 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 we, 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 me, knee, we. Can you feel the subtle difference? Because that will place a little bit better, or I shouldn't say better, that will place sort of naturally throughout the nasal pharynx. The E itself brings the tongue up and as the tongue comes up it closes the closure in the back of the throat and heads you more towards your soft palate. Again as we're bouncing things off of the soft palate the sound is going more up your nasal resonator and as it goes up the nasal resonator it activates all the various soft tissue that's in your nasal pharynx. Now the different sounds will sort of activate just like an instrument like a violin playing different tones the wood would vibrate in various places throughout the instrument. The whole instrument is going to vibrate, but the very specific parts of the instrument is going to vibrate depending upon where the tone is and the way it resonates. And that's what I'm trying to show you here, that the resonation resonates a little bit differently inside your nasal resonator. Now I also mentioned the fact about split resonance, and I'm going to talk about that a little bit more now. We have a mouth resonator and whenever we're vibrating more in the mouth resonator what we're doing is we're bouncing off the hard palate inside the mouth and when that happens we're more in our mouth or more in our chest voice resonance. Ba 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 is extremely different than nay 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 or we we nee nee or me me. Me nee we ba 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 very very different as far as where you're going to feel the resonation uh, uh, bouncing off inside of your mouth or up into your nasal resonator. Also, ba is an ah vowel sound which will drop the tongue much lower, again, heading things up into your hard palate instead of directing them more back to the soft palate through the nasal resonator. Okay, now I know it's, I may sound a little bit technical here, but it's really not that technical. It's the idea of just feeling these things by using the different resonators and by using these specific exercises. So if you take a specific exercise and sing a me or a ba to it, even if it's just a five note pattern like ba 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 ne 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 each one of those changing of the consonant sound or changing the vowel sound is gigantic in relationship to where you're going to feel it. Play with that a little bit and just get an idea of the feeling of how things are resonating both through your nasal resonator and through your mouth resonator. Now, not a whole lot to talk about in the wrap-up this week. Still continuing on in the listen and recognize, adding an E major chord. Uh, had, had a lot to do this week and I'm getting a lot of material ready for you. So I didn't release a lot of material this week. Uh, but you're going to be seeing lots of material, as I've spoken before, uh, getting ready to release a couple of the beginnings of a couple new courses and talk about those. So be on the lookout. They're coming very soon. I, I guess that sort of wraps up the wrap-up. Talk to you a little bit about uh, your nasal pharynx again and the mix and uh, give you some ideas to feel some things in resonation. Uh, talk a little bit about what we've done and uh, I guess that wraps it up. I'll see you guys next week.